while ago, I was sitting in my doctor's clinic and saw a person crying profusely. After which, I found out that he had a stroke and since then was unable to speak. I was forced to ask, why? Why is he not using an assistive technology? On exploring, I found that current solutions start from 2.5 lakhs and need a wheelchair. So how something that is so expensive, so bulky, and so difficult to use is supposed to help someone? Think for a second what we take for granted. What if you cannot ask for a glass of water? There are more than 100 million people who suffer from developmental disabilities, which is more than the entire population of Germany. More than 628 speech-impaired people are added to the United States alone every single day. On an average, someone in the United States suffers from a stroke every 40 seconds. Lack of communication not only renders a person helpless, but also reduces their life expectancy by 20 years. This, this is what initiated the journey of talk. I felt, as long as you're breathing, you should be able to live, truly live. Talk converts the breath of a disabled person into speech. It is the world's first and only wearable AAC device for differently abled people. Earlier this year, I got a chance to test it with a patient suffering from Parkinson's disease. He was able to give a positive response, and that was the change I was looking for. Talk expects a person to be able to give two distinguishable exhales, which are converted to Morse code, then to words, and synthesized using the selected voice. Talk features two modes, one to communicate in English, and other to give out specific commands. It has nine different voices, not only male and female, but also in different accents. In the future, talk will enable differently abled people to speak and use internet, send mails, log on to social media sites, and that too, by only using their breath. I'm happy to tell you that Talk won Google Science Fair 2014 Water's Choice Award. Proud moment for me. I got numerous emails and would like to share one from a father. My son does not talk. And your invention would be an answer to my prayers that is to hear my son say, I love you. Enough of me talking, let talk do the talking now. Next time you breathe, mind your words. Talk, because everyone has the right to. Thank you.